Hello, everyone, and welcome to something different, something new. We are doing a blind playthrough of a game called The Hex. I only decided to do this literally about, I want to say, half an hour ago, because I was feeling... I mean, we're obviously going to finish the playthrough because I love the game, but at this moment in my existence, I was feeling a little bit ambivalent about doing another episode of Earthbound that was going to lead with some grinding because we still need to get Niren up to appreciable levels before we head through the secret passage out of three to Grapefruit Falls. So I started poking around looking for maybe something else to play and realize and discovered to my greatly pleasant surprise that back in October, the creator of Pony Island, Daniel Mullins, dropped his follow-up, a game called The Hex. So I looked into it just a very little bit, and it's got really great reviews. People who have played it like it, and it's highly, highly, highly recommended by everyone that you go into it blind. It's apparently another one of those metagame, trippy games about games that I like so very much, and I hope you do too. And we're going to take this little ride together, and hopefully it's going to be great. So let's... I want to, I want to give people a few minutes to trickle in, because I feel like... Uh, I don't know, I feel like a few more people ought to show up. Uh, anyway, hello, Nyron. Well, I would ask how you are, but you've already told me that you're ill as fuck. I am sorry to hear that. That's unfortunate, my friend. I already, uh... <clears throat> I did already run very basic little uh, test runs and setups just to make sure that the game works and uh, streams properly, so we should be good. And if I end up just streaming this game for you, Niren, that'll be just fine. Ah, Ethan, hello. You're catching a stream. That's great. I'm excited for this one, too. I'm I'm playing a game blind that you're, like, supposed to play blind, you know, something something head-trippy that we'll all get to go through together. <laughs> so I'm pretty excited about this. I'm going to wait a... Let's see, we've been going three minutes. I'm going to wait a total of five, I think, and then I will actually fire up the game and get started. Anyway, how's everyone's weekend been? The... Uh, I had a fantastic Saturday. I I did have to work the entirety of that morning down in Denver, but the uh, starting at 1 p.m., uh, we went to the Avalanche game, and they very suddenly remembered how to play hockey, and they won the game 7-1. to one. And after that, we went and got... Chicago style deep dish pizza because my favorite place from when I was in law school, a uh, chain called Giordano's, finally opened a location right in downtown Denver that I could walk to from my office. So I gorged myself on pizza in lieu of consuming alcohol. It's getting to the point now where I I really, really, really want a fucking drink. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm kind of counting down the days now until February 1st. <laughs> but uh, I can, I mean, even now I can hardly believe I've very nearly gone three weeks without drinking at all. But it's kind of crazy for me, but it's good. Hi, Infinimora. Uh, good to see you, as always. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. 76 does have an interesting story, but it's still ridiculously buggy. What, it's been out for three months now? It dropped in October? Uh, hey, Machine Gunner. Good to see you. All right, yeah, I think five minutes was the perfect wait time. Feels like people have realized we're going, and they've made their way in. So let's fire it up and get going. So I, I spieled once. I'll spiel again right before I hit the start button. 
I changed my mind about Earthbound about half an hour ago. I just, I wasn't feeling it. I knew it was going to start with a little bit of grinding. So I kind of poked around to look for something else to play and realized that Daniel Mullins, the creator of Pony Island, actually released his follow-up. And it's not like a sequel to Pony Island or anything, just his second game. But it's called The Hex. He released it last October. It's 10 bucks on Steam. It says you can finish your first run in six to seven hours. And it's, it's very well-reviewed and highly recommended that you go in completely blind. So that is what we are endeavoring to do. We will discover this game together. I hope it's good. Let's fire it up and get started. Hey, Lone Wonder. The Hex uses exclusively WASD and left mouse as a control scheme unless otherwise noted. There are some sections in the Hex with bright flashing graphics. Those with photosensitive epilepsy should be careful. And we're loading, which is all well and good. Adjust the brightness until you can barely see my face. That looks right to me. Can you all barely see his face on the stream? Oh, here, why don't I just look at the actual stream? That's kind of easy mode, isn't it? Oh, this game's not going to alt-tab. Okay. That's good. Can every, uh, every, everybody who's in chat just tell me, can you barely see his face? So that's where we're being directed to set the brightness. All right. I'm going to take that as a yes. Let's go. In a dark, forgotten corner of the video game universe, a storm is raging. Oh, I can turn off full screen and then crank up the resolution. That's what I'm going to do. Perfect. Screen noise effect. Disable if recording footage or streaming. Well, okay. <laughs> We'd better disable it since we're streaming. <laughs> Dialogue text speed. <laughs> okay, I, li I like it about there. Uh. All right. The Six Pint Inn. I'm going to turn down the game volume just a tick. Hi, His Headness. I'm doing really well. How are you? Oh. Okay, no, maybe it does need to be louder. A. Hello? What? Slow down. You're telling me that one of my patrons is planning a murder, you say? But which one? <laughs> Hello? Hmm. Hey! Listen up. I just got a disturbing call. Someone in this room is planning a murder. Now I mean to get to the bottom of this. You, a weasel kid, come over here, let's talk. What is it, Gramps? Look, kid, between you and me, you're the only one I trust here. I want you to talk to a few of these characters. See if any will fess up. What do you got for me? Am I? You talk to all of them, right? I think almost. Well, snap to it. Uh -huh. 
so we meet again. You're looking quiet. We're not supposed to know each other. Oh, right. Um, the name's Lazarus, kid. I'm a space marine. Uh, very nice to meet you, Lazarus. Likewise. Hey, creep, you planning a murder? M murder Sure. So you admit it? Dust Bowl Danny, Helga the Bandit, that old rat Fangs. I'll get him one day. There was Tall Jane, too. And the Worm. Mmm, yes. Today's special hot strawberry pie. Ooh, strong ale. Interesting. Kitchen. Can't get in there. What's your story, man? You from a walking simulator or something? You're barely even textured, dude. What, you've never heard of Super Weasel Kid? You're my first suspect, man. Your silence is incriminating. Okay, so I'm finding quarters. I need seven more to buy a soda. All right, let's talk to the last two. You look strong enough to kill someone. What are you up to? Watch your mouth, kid. I'm from a cooking game. I'm no killer. You're a chef? You look more like a fighter. Turns out I can do both. The barkeep here pays me to cook. I've got my eye on you, kid. And who are you supposed to be? I'm a high-level sorceress, kid. Watch yourself. And what kind of magic do you practice anyways? None of your business. I never caught your name. Chandrel Stormblaze. Is that all? Take it easy, shortstop. Okay. So did anyone say anything? Um, no, man. That was kind of a waste of... Eh, I didn't think so. At least you're acquainted now. I want you to make your way upstairs. Behind the first door on the second floor, there's a very important key up there. Oh, almost forgot to give that old elevator a jump start. Let me just... That should do it. Go get me that key. What door again? I thought I was clear. I need a key that's on the second floor behind the first door. What door again? Listen, kids. Second floor, first door. Bring me the key. Second floor, first door, bring me the key. Okay, yeah, they're all done. And now the elevator is working. Yay! Crash has fallen on hard times. Ooh, someone scurried off. Reserved for Chef Bryce. Can I go downstairs? I can. I like being disobedient. Uh, but it looks like downstairs is going to be too hard to see. Oh, maybe not. Another quarter. That's something. Apparently that's all so far. Okay. Uh, so we're already pretty meadow with the 
six video game archetypes in the bar. <gasps> Which is kind of neat. What is this? Gonna keep on the lookout for more quarters, I guess, but... All right, to the second floor. Obviously, we're going to try every other door besides the first. I bet that does something to the game, too. Is there a third floor? No. Okay. Chef Bryce. Ms. Stormblaze. I don't know why I got three quarters just then, but that was pretty cool. There's fourth. Closed for repairs. Reserved for Mr. R. McLean. That's definitely a murder weapon, but not the key that the barkeep wanted. Hot pie. Things all smudged up from the rain. Something, something ritual. Jeez. Hey, Steven. Yeah, the Twitch mobile app is not great. That's a true story. Only one more quarter and we get a soda. Mm. So we gotta go in here. Somebody's watching. There's our last quarter. Oh, an extra. How interesting. Oh, jeez. Is that blood? Well, here's the stupid key. I guess I'll bring it back to the old barkeep. Ooh, thumbs down. Nice. Super Weasel Kid, the good old days. Oh, are we going to play this game now? <laughs> Super Weasel Kid, my how you've grown. Hi, Mr. Shrewd. Hi. Well, without further ado, welcome to a grand adventure. Here you can run, jump, and maybe even soar among the clouds. We're all so excited that you're here. Thanks, Mr. Shrewd. I'll be looking out for you, kid. Triple jump up to that other cloud.
you're wearing me out, kid. Try to stay out of the spikes. Sorry, Mr. Shrewd. Oh, I couldn't stay mad at you. Hi there, who are you? Oh, young weasel. You've interrupted my musings. S sorry Fear not, you are the least of my woes. My boundless wisdom wasted here for a petty side quest. A quest? Yes, young weasel, for coins. Bring me 50 and to you a secret I will reveal. You have 38 right now. Alright, well, we got 50, so let's go on back. Where'd she go? There it is. Hi, I got the coins. Young Weasel, then I will tell you my secret. The source of true happiness lies within... No, I cannot. Huh? I cannot simply spout nonsense as a reward, as I was supposed to. Here's a real secret. This game was built on the ashes of another. Alas, I have said too much. W what? Sarsaparilla. That is all, young weasel. <laughs> I like it. It's Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> um. Wait! One more word of advice. I know I'm a bother. You're special, kid, but don't let it get to your head. Wait! Retro Game Lover, recommended. No game is as big as Super Weasel Kid for platformer games. The very first entry to the series does not disappoint. Love, Mr. Shrewd. <laughs> it's a Steam review. Recommended. Pure childlike joy. Playing Super Weasel Kid is like being a, well, a kid again. 10 out of 10 would relive childhood again. A biz warrior. Wait a minute. Okay, now it's cribbing from my friends list. <laughs> I love this shit. Ben, Super Weasel Kid. Oh, man, it's, it's totally cribbing from my friends list on Steam to make these. That's amazing. Hermione. Lionel's early work is among his best. Shame the later entries in the series didn't quite match the original Super Weasel Kid. I think a triple jump off here might do the trick. Nope. Huh. There we go. Recommended, Mrs. Machine. This game is just so forgiving, in a good way. Who needs a game over screen anyways? Okay, there we go. Vertical Sprite, thank you so much for the host. I appreciate it.
Reckon it's Steve or Beaver! <laughs> My brother-in-law, wow. Loved this game, but what was the point of the coins? <laughs> Absence. Love SWK, the experience of grabbing the coins is its own reward. <laughs> Alright, now it's just making fun of me. Oh. One word. Uplifting. The best game in the SWK series by so much. Scored. Can't believe a 12-year-old made this. Lionel is a genius. Super Weasel Kid. Can't stop coming back. This game just makes me happy. I can't believe my friend Lionel made this game. He's the best. Dark Redshift, such a sublime experience. Christopher 8500, only a few games I cherish as much as Super Weasel Kid. Sarkron, oh boy, I love this game. Hey, Martin, highly recommended. Love Super Weasel Kid. Sergeant Hartman, my all-time favorite. Mr. Skeltel, joyous occasion to play SWK. Chunky Bungus, best game. Oh, boy. Look at you, you poor fool. Wh what Oh, to be replaced by such mediocrity. Who are you? You should take better care of Mr. Shrewd. He's getting older. Stop saying scary things. Very well. Goodbye for now. Super Weasel Kid 2, Radical Road, the long-awaited sequel. Three lives. My Steam name is uh, Tarvis79. Hey, kid. Welcome to the er, Radical Road. I'm hyped. Right, of course. I have to let you know. This asphalt is tough for me to break through. I won't be able to help as much as I used to. It's okay, Mr. Shrewd. I can handle it now. Well, all right, if you say so. Out of my way, man. Radical Road, one kilometer. Recommended. Old Greg. It's not quite what we expected for a sequel, but I still enjoyed SWKRR. Haters, get at me. This is already meta as fuck. I love it. Not recommended. Talara. Whoa, not cool, dude. Falling into spikes and other hazards will cause you to lose life. Lose too much, and it's game over, bro. SWK was so honest. This game is just trying too hard to be cool. Mash click to punch. <laughs> I like the combat in Rad Road because the original didn't even have combat. I like that the negative reviews fall out from under you, too. Rad Road is alright, just doesn't have the same magic. Wish I could give it a half thumbs up, but to be honest, I was disappointed with the addition of combat. Regardless of other criticism, you have to admit the music is radical, says Sonicalja. another review up here. Recommended. Don't listen to the haters, Lionel. You still have family and friends who care about you and love Radical Road. Radical Road.
Radical! Not that good. Pretty okay. JC Wits, that's my actual brother. <laughs> I love that it cribs my actual Steam friends. Disappointed. Do you still trust him? You again. You see what people are saying, right? They don't like you as much as they used to. I don't care what people think, man. Why do I find that so unconvincing? Super Weasel Kid 09, Super Redux, The Fall. Uh, hey kid, welcome to a brand new, uh, adventure. Who the heck are you? Where's Mr. Shrewd? Shrewd? Never heard of him. You've never heard of him? Who are you? I'm Mr. Squirrel. Alright, Mr. Squirrel, now you listen to me. No, you listen to me, kid. They hired me to talk, so I'm gonna talk. Ahem. <laughs> Welcome to a brand new adventure. Here you can run, jump, and maybe even soar among the clouds, etc., etc. Now knock yourself out. So what the hell is this, Gervais? Look, there's a glitch here. The whole thing is glitching. <laughs> he sold out, and he did it for cheap. Is it a port? Is it a sequel? It's terrible. Pure, unadulterated garbage. So Lionel sold the rights of SWK to Game Funa, and you're all surprised that it's shit? Game Funa, infamous for horrible ports and remasters, has done it again. When will the developer community stop giving them money? Huh. Really, with the with the whole horrible ports and remasters bit, I was thinking like, uh, I don't even know. It's a buggy mess. I feel like I've been robbed. How do I get a refund? Because this game is a scam. Really great resurrect Game Funa, Rob. Really great resurrection of the Super Weasel Kid franchise. Game Funa hit it out of the park again. Ha! Huh. Nothing redeemable here. We all thought SWK was going back to its roots after RR, but just no. Poor Super Weasel Kid, I miss the old days. Worst Super Weasel Kid at game ever. What the fuck, Game Funa? What the fuck, Lionel? Fuck. Lionel, what is this? It's cliche, but they don't make them like they used to. The first SWK was a masterpiece. This is a piece of shit. How do I get a refund? Because this game is a scam. Trash. What were they thinking? I have to add another negative review to the pile. SWK has fallen a long way. This game is a travesty. Not recommended. This is my introduction to the series. All I can say is Super Weasel Kid sucks. R.I.P. Alfred Shrewd.
Achievement unlocked. Childhood ruined. That was quite the fall. This key better be worth it. Achievement unlocked. Childhood ruined. I like that. Completed Super Weasel Kid's memory. One out of 28. All right. SWK equals lie. Remember Sarsparilla. I'm a lie. All right. Hey, Maya. Good to see you. Glad you could join us. This game's already meta as hell. I really, really like it so far. I don't really have any idea where it's going, but I really like it. Whoa. Jeremiah got out all right by the looks of it. The hell? Oh, here we go. Maybe if we finish this. I was original, initially planning to play Earthbound, and it, oh, it just didn't quite grab me, so I looked for something new. We will finish Earthbound, obviously. Don't, don't worry about that. I've got enough quarters. I want to get my soda. Oh, no. Maybe I don't. I needed to go all the way upstairs. That's okay. I need to talk to the barkeep. I nearly died in this old trap. I won't stop you. That old codger. He's right behind the bar. Tell him yourself. Grr. Grr. Okay, that's what we're going to say to everyone. What the hell, man? Excuse me? Well, first, the door was locked. Then I nearly died falling through your floorboards. Kid, you've got the key, right? This better unlock some better goddamn floorboards, because, don't worry, this key unlocks the kitchen. And today's special is hot pie. What? Bryce, I found the key! Oh. And now, suddenly, we're controlling this guy. Look, like you said, we haven't always been friends, but you aren't planning to kill someone, right? If I was planning a murder, Bryce, would I tell you? Just tell me it isn't you. Why don't you tell me the same? We'll pick this up later. Sure. I said sure. Barkeep was rattling on about a key while you were gone. Yeah, I gave it to him. Did I gave it to him. Go get it, dude. And what are you, the random fighter option? That was a joke. Lazarus, you're the space marine. That's how I'm known. And you're Bryce from a fighting game. I'm a chef. That fighting gig wasn't for me. That green substance on your sleeve. Is that blood? Ah, yes. From an alien species you could barely comprehend. I know more than you think. Aliens, huh? That's right. If you must know, it was a Gargaloth. <laughs> What's the gas mask for? Planning something? P planning on something. What? <clears throat> you know, my son is a fighter. Bare knuckle like you. Your son? You mean, like, as part of your game's story? Not sure I take your meaning. What is it, Barkeep? I found the kitchen key, and our guests are hungry. You know how to bake a pie, right? Do I ever. Glad I hired you. Here's the key. Uh, you wanted a pie, right? Yes, that's what I asked for. About that pie. Do I need to spell it out for you? I could do it myself if I could walk. Take the dish, mix some dough, bake it in the oven. If I don't get my pie soon, I'm sorry, but you're fired, Sonny. Is it ready yet?
Wanted. That bit of helmet looks familiar. Help Wanted must have cooking experience. Call 514023211. That's going to be important. I'll wager. Is that a key in the tin? Probably. Grab empty pie tin, mix dough in a bowl, add strawberries to dough, cook in the oven until very hot. There we go. There's quarters inside this bank, too. Alright, let's go buy a soda. So I got three quarters from cooking... Oh, there's another one. Achievement unlocked. Insert coin. Ooh. Lionel created a Grunda. Lionel taught it to behave. Lionel shut off the power while Gameworks was trying to save. Lionel created a Grunda. Lionel taught it to behave. Lionel shut off the power while Gameworks was trying to save. The... The fuck? I actually have one extra quarter, and I also want to take that key upstairs, because that's where the only other locked doors I've seen are. So he can go into his own room, but there's not really any reason to do that. Ah, it still doesn't feel right to wear it. I miss you, Granny. That looks awfully sharp. Why she got that in her room? Hmm, a bit hard to read. Requested exorcism? The hell's she up to? Hot pie. Jeremiah swept the floor. Jeremiah wanted more. Jerry dreamed of a job that was fun. Jerry's story had just begun. This is weird. I like it, though. That seems to be all we can do for now. Although there's a spot for a hot pie up there, so... seem to do anything. I 
Guess we'll take this to the barkeep. Pie's done. Ah, excellent. But the pie isn't for me. Our guest, Miss Stormblaze over there, has paid a high price for a private room. A tradition at the Six Pint Inn is to provide a warm dinner to accompany a private room. So bring it up to our guest room, second door on the second floor. I'm not sure what you did with that pie, but bring whatever's left of it up to the guest room. Second floor on the second door, I said. Er, second door on the second door. Barkeep wanted me to give you this. Ah, of course. I mean, just leave it in my room on the second floor. Second door. Look, I'm not hungry. Leave it in my room. Leave it in my room, okay? It's on the second floor, second door. Did I leave it unlocked? It's on the second floor, second door. Okay. It's on the second floor, third, or I mean second door. All right, finally. Hmm. Wrong one. Damn. Alright, second floor. There we go. Alright, so now we put it here. Well, I know one way to clear this. Let's see if these old knuckles still hold up. Before the first fight. What is this? Where am I? This is a training room. You're here to learn. Learn what? I already know how to cook. Cook? No. I'll be teaching you how to... Fight! Now, raise your arms and stand like this. This is ridiculous. I'm from a cooking game. Do you see a door? You only have one option, Bryce. Game works. High, low. That's correct. Move around a bit. Limber up. That's correct. Strike the dummy right now. That's a hem. Correct. Show me that you can aim your strikes. Look at your target and your fists will follow. Now strike high. Low. High. Middle. High. Yes. I'm hyped. Okay, okay. Defend. You can duck, block, or jump. Watch your opponent. Walk backwards and you'll block middle strikes. Ducking is an option for high strikes. Move down to get out of the way. And lastly, you jump for low strikes, opposite of ducking. Show me a nice long jump. Hold it. Nice. Now jump over these strikes. Yes, yes, yes! Now get a 10 combo. Hit it, don't get hit. Combo 10. Okay, now 1,000. You just hit me? Lionel still buys rights to Chef Bryce's cooking quest. You're in my world now. Get out there and fight. One more character IP purchased by the young developer. Combat Arena X, after his trading. 
Bryce versus Bakto. So you're my first opponent. Want to call it a draw? That would be a great dishonor to my ancestors. You have heard of Bakto, no? I am a descendant of... Okay, we'll fight then. I wish you a fair combat. My ancestors are ashamed. I must fight harder. Round three, fight. I never was as strong as my ancestors. Grandpa, some help? Fool, follow my fists. Chef Bryce, worst fucking character in game, underpowered characters. Bryson, if you can't fight stay in the article, Lionel still buys fighter predictions, threads in Combat Arena X forum. <laughs> All right, interesting. Combat Arena X balance patch notes. Bryce, our newest addition to the Combat Arena X roster has proven lackluster so far, only barely able to beat the low-tier character Bakto. We are granting him the following buff. Studded Gloves. We gave Bryce studded gloves to increase the damage from his fist strikes by 25%. Forward Dash ability. We added a forward dash to Bryce's moveset that is activated by double-tapping the forward move button. Version 1.14. Studded Gloves. Bryce versus Alley Gator. What's next? A crocodile? What you fucking say, mate? I'm a fucking alligator, mate. Say it. You have a nasty mouth, sir. You got a fucking nasty mouth, alright? I'm a fucking nasty gator and I'll pop your fucking spleen. I don't think I'll regret beating you. You fucking sure, motherfucker. Let's fucking brawl already, mate. Fuck you, man. Sarsaparilla. There we go. And yes, there's Seth Barilla again. I'm chomping at the fucking bit. Strike high. Strike middle. You know what, man? Just fuck it, man. I said fucking shut it down. Good fucking fight, man. Oh yeah, and look, there's a... Uh, that sign is from Super Weasel Kid. Balance patch notes. Combat Arena X, Bryce. Despite a few recent victories, we still find Bryce to be lacking on the competitive scene, so our decision was to grant him the following buff. Lightning boots. We added some gear to Bryce's boots to increase the amount of time he can jump for, as well as boost his movement speed. Or steel-toed boots. We gave Bryce steel-toed boots to increase the damage from his foot strikes by 25%. Interesting. I think lightning boots sound better. Bryce versus Steambot Willie. Activating Steam Protocols. Prepare for combat, non-boat creature. Round one. Fight. 
Hull density, 100%. Chances of victory, 100%. Getting steamy, ultimate ability prepared. Huh. Combat Arena X balance patch notes. Bryce. Honestly, Bryce seems to be at an adequate power level, but he's Lionel's favorite character, so we're giving him another buff. Sorry. Power Anklet. We gave Bryce a Power Anklet. All of Bryce's strikes deal an extra 25%, whether he needs it or not. Combo Amplifier. Bryce's combo meter now builds much faster, probably too fast. Let's do that. Bryce versus Chandrel. This is getting tiring. Why not skip the fighting and take a break? Just enjoy the scenery. You don't take this very seriously, do you? Great, another diehard. Here we go again. You should take it seriously. That is, if you want out. What are you talking? I'm talking about training hard and winning so many fights that you are considered OP. They'll remove you from the game. Banned. So you'll throw the fight for me? Ha ha ha. You think you're the only one looking for a new gig? They certainly won't ban me if I lose to Chef Bryce. Round one, fight. Look at that. Christmas came early. That was an enjoyable brawl, Chef Bryce. Adios. Fight News Daily. FND News Flash. Chandrel removed from Combat Arena X. September 16th. In an unsurprising move by the Combat Arena X team, the sorceress Chandrel has been removed from the beta version of Combat Arena X. This comes after an audibly negative player reaction to the overpowered character. Honestly, I'm not sure she was that overpowered. Senior something designer Carla Dosa told us, but FND Main, about news, characters, games, reviews, shop FND, email, extras, features, funnies, art, gallery, showroom, feedback, music, credits. Senior game designer Carla Dosa told us. Okay, I think if we wait long enough, the clouds will move and we can read the whole thing. Yeah, I know, exactly. <clears throat> uh, sauna this game is called the hex it's the second game by daniel mullins the guy who made pony island i don't think we're too far in yet but it's getting really it's it's really meta and cool i'm not sure exactly what's going on yet but i'm sure we'll figure it out Okay. Honestly, I'm not sure she was that overpowered, senior game designer Carla Dosa told us. When are we going back to good old games? I like this game, and we're going to finish it. We're going to finish Earthbound, don't worry. But Lionel never liked her as a character. I think that played a larger role in, I'm guessing it says, removing her from combat arena.
Oh, yeah. I think that played a larger role in her ban from Combat Arena. Lionel Snill, the game's lead designer and developer of the hit Super Weasel Kid series, had a different story to tell. We felt that Chandrell, with her long-range blue magic, created a metagame in which a combat arena player needed to have the counter to her, Steambot Willy, or be forced to outright lose. Understandably, the... Okay. Fair enough. Off we go. Hey, uh, announcer guy? Take me back to the training room. The new meta? What are they doing over there? Last pick of any level-headed and gone on the record saying this is the new meta. Our top commentator boosts since the least combat arena X is just irresistible power for the blah 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 blah. Rice players, our time has come. Deal with it. Combat Arena X, Wizarro owned by Bryce. <laughs> hey man, did you drop those glasses? Sado, Maniacus, Combat Arena tier list. Bryce the chef. <laughs> Bryce is officially OP, January 5th. Enough is enough. The community, Combat Arena X Fighter, Chef Bryce, to no avail. There's simply no viable that could contest this new champion. Lionel has been a solution. The most likely is to simply remove Chef Bryce, ruin the competitive community surrounding Combat Arena X. Br balance patch notes. Bryce. We feel that Bryce has gone from being underpowered to being overpowered. We are attempting to nerf him to see if his power can be mitigated. Inversion device. We are making Bryce's jump and duck input buttons reversed. Now up is duck and down is reverse. Weakness curse. We gave Bryce a weakness curse to increase all damage that he takes by 50%. <laughs> Version 3.12. All right, this is getting weird. Excuse me. Let's do the inversion device. Sado versus Bryce. So you're the highest ranked fighter? Eh, <laughs> some call me fighter. But you see, I'm really more of a performer. And when I fight, you become part of the show. You wasted your time training your body for this fight. You should have trained your my mind. Yeah, let's get this over with. Round one, fight! Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the show. You look so small from up here. <laughs> Let's get you warmed up. Dummy should work for that. Watch your head. I love this part. Well, that was fantastic to watch. Hold still, check this out. Keep your eye on the prize. Careful now. Nice, but that was easy. Three hats. Fuck. Impressive.
impressive. One more. I'm on the edge of my seat. How will it end? Oh, right. I already know. Giant hands. <laughs> Granny, I'm coming home. Chef Bryce removed from Combat Arena X, FND News Flash, Fight News Daily. After massive public outcry by the Combat Arena X community, Chef Bryce has been removed from the game in the latest balance patch. Although he doesn't possess an overpowered ultimate ability like Steambot Willie or Killer Kyle. Cooking Granny, a new beginning? Well, it sure is nice to have you back, Bryce. Indeed it is. Now what say we make some pies? An excellent idea, Bryce. You still remember how to bake my pies, right? When I toss one, jump up and catch it. Now push it in one of those pie holes. And don't go pushing pies at closed doors. Not bad, Bryce. We only wasted two pies. Time to clean up. What was that? Great pie, Granny. Although, Bryce, it was a little overcooked. He always did make a better fighter than a cook. Now, just what is the meaning of this? Combat Arena X2, of course. Game Funa is handling development. They now own the rights to Chef Bryce. You're being reassigned, pal. I don't think so. Nice stance, just like I taught you. But you remember the last time you tried hitting me, right? That's right. You remember that bad idea. Well, you won't be fighting in combat arena. Striking an innocent NPC, you won't be allowed in any game. What a shame. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot to do it. Granny got bodied. Bryce pulled from Combat Arena X2 lineup, October 26th. Fans of Chef Bryce are left scratching their heads after the Cooking Granny character was removed from the announced roster of fighters for the Combat Arena sequel. Although he had been removed from the first game for balance reasons, he... Ten things we miss about the old Cooking Granny games. Get your nostalgia fix straight out of the oven. One, that old lady could move. I can only hope to be as healthy as Cooking Granny in her old age. That is understating that woman's dexterity. I remember barely being able to keep up with those dang pies. Like, seriously. 
That was funny. I n no, it was funny. Combat Arena X11, slated for release, late 2017. All your favorite fighters return next holiday season. Ujo Tech, the developers of Combat Arena since Combat Arena X5, which many mark as the revival of the series, has announced that X11 will be available by the 2017 holiday season. We don't want to rush things, we never want to rush things, but we are confident that Combat Arena X11 can be in the hands of fans by December 2017, said Dojo Tech lead designer Imamura Goya. Many fans of the series will be excited to hear that long-standing favorites such as Steambot Willie and Alcatraz are returning to the... As we reported earlier, it is how... Yeah, okay. There's a shadow there. Can't seem to do anything with it. Help wanted. Must have cooking experience. Call 5140232. No, I think that was intentionally funny, Iron. I think we were supposed to laugh. Achievement unlocked. Overdone. Completed Bryce's memory. All right. I'd better leave that here for Chandrell. Barkeep wouldn't be too pleased if I took it. All right, folks, I need a little restroom break, so I will be right back. All right, we're back. <laughs> this game is like a game. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. I'm certain at some point we need to get into that closet. Huh. I suppose that's convenient. Oh yeah, I already looked in here. Oh, huh, that works now. Thanks for the pie, Bryce. I expect it will be up to Cooking Granny's standards. It's still too soon. Well, thanks. Working here. I don't get many thanks. I appreciate it. You never did tell me about what happened after your combat arena ban. Maybe another time. Life is hard, kid. Totally uncaring. It doesn't matter what you gain or what you lose. It's all wiped away in the end. If someone gave me a way to strike back, I would... Me too, man. Me too. You're old enough to drink, right? Hasn't stopped me. Cheers, kid. I wanted the uh the key that was in the pie, but maybe we'll maybe we get it later with uh Chandrel. Let's see if Bryce has anything to say about the pod in the basement. Maybe someone smaller could fit. I wonder about that shadow I keep seeing running around, too. Hmm. Odd. Did you? I left the pie up there for Chandrel, as well as the key you left in the dish. Key what? It was a strawberry pie, not key lime. You really need to get this place fixed up. The ceiling fell through up there. Of course, I'll just ask Jer- I'll get a repairman. In the meantime, wizard lady, your room is ready. And now we're playing as her. I'm guessing we'll figure the rest of this out later. What are you looking at? You look like the doppelganger mini-boss that copies your moveset, but somehow less charismatic. My room? Ah yes, your effects are all there. It's the second floor on the second door, er... Did you leave the... I was told there would be a key. It wasn't key lime, was it? Your key lime pie will be waiting. I thought it was strawberry. What? Your pie is up there. Getting cold. Enjoy your stay. How did you get so famous anyways? Step off, lady. I mean, all you do is jump. You've got no skills beyond jumping. I can levitate for mere sake. I'm likable. You could learn that. Aw, oh, you little twerp. Yeah, try leveling up your manners. Lazarus, I... It's been a long time. Yes. How have you been? Not great. Look, you knew what we were getting into. I knew, but I didn't know the consequences. I think I know why you're here. To erase your consequences. I wish my scars could be erased. You thought secrets was bad? You have no idea. Look, I... That's all I've got to say.
Is that the janitor from the Sacred Temple? I wonder what became of him. Tactics, right? Eh? You come from a tactics game? A game? Ahem. I'm, uh, name's Rust. You seen a few things in your time? I seen more than enough. Ever see a... Ah, forget it. Eh? Lazarus, what have you done? It's a two liter of Pepsi Max, Maya. That's what we're drinking today. Ha, huh, no way I can fit in there. I thought I saw a few of those somewhere in the game works. Hey, Morellis. It's hard to say at the moment. It's, it's very obviously another one of those games about games, kind of like Pony Island was. I think we'll find out as we get farther in. There's been lots of commentary on game development already. Like big publishers acquiring beloved properties and running them into the ground, that sort of thing. Hmm. I really loved Pony Island, and this is by the same guy. I like it so far, so I think it's going to be good. Ah, Lazarus's old killing edge. I wonder how it wound up here. Ah yes, the agreement. I've got no plans of going back on my side of it. Ugh, I don't miss them. But I wonder what became of that kid. A key. C for seller. I was told that I'd need this. I think this key unlocks something in the cellar. Hmm, C for seller. Dark down there. Is there something you aren't sharing with me? Wondered why I was still getting quarters. Apparently there are about a dozen more.
Sphinx milk. Connect to dragon bile. Okay. Fill dragon bile. Connect to Sphinx Milk. Fill. And connect to Kraken Tears. Operating table is online. Stop. Stop this nonsense. No. Time to play her memory. Secrets of Legendaria, on release day. Teehee, wake up, you big sleepyhead. Teehee, wake up! Lucky I found you here. This land isn't as safe as it once was, since the Dark Lord Valamir returned. But you probably don't remember a thing. Teehee, what's your name? Chandrel. Er, why not let the player decide? I'm gonna go with Chandrel. It's Chandrel, and I don't have amnesia. Teehee, of course. I'm g glad you remember. Well, we should probably get out of this forest. Teehee, follow me. Hold on. You don't even remember how to fight. What if a dangerous slime were to run into you? I remember how to... Don't worry, Teehee, I'll show you. Moji wants to help you learn. Okay, it does feel good to be decompressed. Teehee, I'll bet you don't remember, but you have magical abilities. You don't say. Click on one of those low-level spells, Teehee. Splash a little ether on a single enemy. It does a bit of damage, enough to sting a bit at least. Costs 33 mana. Summon Chill. Start a small snowfall above a single enemy target. It's bound to make them a little uncomfortable. Costs 33 mana. Twinkle Missile. Blast an enemy target with a sparkling missile. It doesn't do that much damage, but it looks lovely. Costs 33 mana. Now click on me to target me. It's okay, I can take it. I healed myself. Get it? Teehee. Try out your other level 1 spells, Teehee. Oh, you've used all your mana. Here, take my potion, Teehee. A dark tome, a scribble in the corner reads from Valamir, XOXO. Teehee. Where did you get that? The, 
<laughs> that was the mark of Valamir. Void Sword. Open a sword portal that deals 50 damage to a single target, costs 25 mana. Hellstorm. Open a portal straight to hell, deal 25 damage to all enemies, costs 25 mana. Blood Pact. You gain 15 mana and increase your crit chance by 15%. The catch, it deals 15 to you. I just wanted to jog your memory. Spare me, please. Tee hee. You killed him! Good night, sweet friends. <laughs> what? Don't tell me I was the only one getting annoyed with that thing. <laughs> oh, get over it. <laughs> gained five gold. Chandrell gained 50 experience. <laughs> the Twitch chat on the side. That was cool. A basic potion that restores 75 mana. Tastes like raspberry. Hey girl, how's it hanging? Valamir, I can't say it's a pleasure. You used my book. <laughs> that was great, huh? That little rat was becoming a nuisance. You said it, girl. So how about our deal? You bring me the three orbs of power, and I'll make sure this franchise never gets a sequel. Yes, of course. I'll just need to stop. Mm, that's better. Continue. I'll just need to convince the Great Sage to let me keep the orbs. That old bat always tries to seal them away at the end of the adventure. Heh, <laughs> not this time. <laughs> okay, girl, find me some orbs. He found a strawberry pie. He found a garden key. What's taking so long? Boring. <laughs> Restores 50 health. Small key for a wooden fence door. Found two bucks. A pair of hideous slimes gets in your way. Get wrecked! <laughs> Increase max HP by 40. Increase max mana by 40. I love the fake Twitch chat. <laughs> max mana. Definitely. Charon says, one coin. Pair of hideous slimes. Four gold schmeckles. Old Smitty's house. Tweep. Hey kid, are you lost? Nope, daddy is out in the woods. He said he would pick me up here. I would go home if I were you. Daddy said to stay here. Hi. The great sorceress of old who sealed away Valamir. Squirrel's General Store. 
One day I want to be like the heroine of old. Trust me, you don't. You don't happen to have any orbs of power, do you? Uh, what? You look a lot like the ancient heroine, I know. Anything else? Who are you looking at? The prophecy is unfolding. You are the heroine of time. You must find the three orbs of power scattered across the land and use them to seal away Valamir once more. I heard rumors that a great dragon to the west is hoarding one. You must save us from Valamir. Slay the great dragon to the west. Get that dragon to the west. That dragon, the west. Dragon West! Dragon West! Dragon West! <laughs> Are you the shopkeeper? Uh, apparently. Just choose an item and get out, okay? I've got a massive headache. Heh, <laughs> you, uh, can't afford that one. Bought a volatile mana potion. A volatile potion that restores between 50 and 150 mana. It also tastes like raspberry. appear to be anything out here, at least not yet. Oh jeez, how embarrassing. Could be hours until the mechanic gets here. You're not a mechanic, are you? Sorry, I'm more of a fighter. Oh man, I was on my way to visit the Sphinx up north. Not anymore. My old scooter had to break down right in front of the bridge. I'm just so embarrassed. Guess we're going west. What, you thought I was going to rush you like a mad dog? Let me guess, you met some bad slimes in the forest and now you think we're all bad. Move along and take your prejudices with you. I've got no time for them. I've got no time for folks like you. Don't tempt me. Huh. The Sacred Temple. What do you want? I'm just cleaning up here. Don't worry, I'll be gone before the final showdown with Valamir. This place actually doesn't keep itself clean. That's my job. You know you're supposed to find the orbs of power, right? Not talk to me? Okay, get along. I have work to do. Look, between you and me, I hate this gig. If you could get me into, say, Vicious Galaxy, that would be exciting. Vicious Galaxy? Are you sure? I heard it's vicious. Anything would be better than this. If you get the chance, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Woof, long day. I'm headed into town to fix some guy's bike. I have no interest in the orb of power that the dragon is hoarding. But, uh, some knight just ran up the north road. You know him? Yes, yes I do. 
It's a long way to the top of the mountain. Lots of cobalt. I heard the dragon at the top is a real pushover. I should be heading into town. Being a mechanic is tough work. What else do you want? Consider me exhausted. A lonely, sweaty kobold is in your space. You found a crocodile tears. Boost- fucking boost your fucking attack like mad, mate. Only usable in battle. 18 bucks. Hey Lazarus, what took you so long? You know how much this hurts, right? It was the tutorial. Moji was tedious as ever. Better than this, I imagine. Can you cue the escape? Much better. Let's take the shortcut to the boss up ahead. I mean, you have my sword. Lazarus has joined the party. Okay. Thanks for joining us as long as you did, Nyron. A couple sweaty kobolds tries to gank you. X slash. Why open a sword portal when you have a sword? Deal 20 damage to a single target. Hone Blade. Sharpen your sword for a damage buff. Future attacks will deal an extra 10 damage. Crosscut. A broad slash that deals 10 damage to all enemies. <laughs> Chandrel Level up Max HP by 40 or damage of all abilities by 5 I don't think it really matters but we'll do damage We're at the shortcut to the boss There's a gap in the wall collider just go directly left here. Anything to avoid grinding these cobalts. Sweaty cobalt and the slime approach. They're friends. Chance of criticals or mana reduce mana cost. That's easy. Really? We're taking the long way? There's quite a lot of cobalt. Just go back and go left through the wall. Yeah, okay. Way too grindy to the right. Boss to the left, Carla. Uh, it's still soul bound to that stupid dragon. Feels like I just went to sleep. So you want this orb of power? Huh? Think again, tiny adventurers. A massive sweaty dragon is awoken from its slumber. You're really just so arrogant. What gives you a right to my orb, huh?
Okay, sorry, I just can't believe you. You come into my lair, mere knows how, and demand my orb? Like, how inconsiderate. I just, wow, I need a second opinion on this. Hey guys, can you believe these two? You just strut through life, stepping on everyone's faces on the way. Not mine, not my face. Wow. Red Orb of Power. <laughs> Sorry to catch you mid-teleport. Uh, what do you want? I see you have one of the orbs, and you've recruited a friend. It's fine, he's cool. I'm cool? With what? This RPG is headed for utter disaster. Instead of saving the world, your heroine is going to destroy it. Look, Lazarus, this franchise could run dozens of sequels. Why not give the unknown a chance? Also, I can give you some sweet endgame gear. I've got a sword from Endervale. Hmm, I... Alright. Perfect! <laughs> see you later, girl. Oof, it ain't easy being a mechanic. Come all the way from Endervale to fix a bike that was blocking the North Bridge, and the guy doesn't even tip. Yep, the North Bridge is clear. You're welcome. There isn't anything to do in this town. Back to Endervale, I suppose. Ah, you have found the Red Orb of Power. Perhaps there is hope yet. You may place it in the Sacred Temple. Perhaps it will bring us hope. The temple is just west north of town. There is hope yet. Free us from Valamir's tyranny. Anything else? You bought a glasses. A pair of broken glasses. There's an old hair caught in a crack. A rabbit or shrew? Volatile health potion. Um, look, there's Steambot, uh, Steambot Willy's head from the fighting game. I'm interested in where this is going. <laughs> help! Excuse me. A pair of tempting lamias slithers in. Wow, this Endervale sword is nice. 
I should be able to pull off some new moves. boys <laughs> gain 40 gold chandrel blah 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 max hp max mana always mana i think phew i thought i was a goner if you're here for the orb of power there's a sphinx that governs these parts she's hoarding it in her temple up the road as a favor for saving me want to borrow my bike You go on and find that Sphinx for me. I'm not cut out for this kind of adventure. It's alright, I'll just wait here. Don't mind me. that sphinx with the orb of power in there? Well, as a matter of fact, she is. If you seek an audience, my queen will require 36 golden onks. Do you think the bugged out onk is still there? At the top left corner of the map? Probably. You cannot bring me bugged out onks, I can tell. Worth a try though, right? Yep. Okay, hold on. I plus I equals... I plus I... E hold on, I think I know the answer. As a reminder, this is a spoiler-free stream. Breaking this rule will result in a ban. I know it. Circle, question mark, upside down, triangle, onk. <laughs> Alright.
No spoilers, Jesus fucking Christ. Come on, dude, let her solve it. <laughs> that was funny. Do you have my queen's onks? Yes, 36 exactly. And we took our time finding them. Let me see. These are... Wow. These are some genuinely nice onks. I can smell their realness. I must say, bravo. There are some who would try to cheat me, but to reward your honesty, I am granting you a new ability. I don't think my queen will mind. <laughs> Jack, is that my fruit platter? Oh, some adventurers. Prepare to be vexed, incompetent fools. For in this fight, there is a new set of rules. I will pose you a question. I will allow you to muse. Answer correctly to continue. Answer incorrectly and lose. Prepare yourselves. An ornately decorated sphinx wishes to riddle you. Steal yourselves, adventurers. Put away your swords and spells and prepare to be riddled. What is black, white, and red all over? Oh, settle down, I know. I have some emails. I know it's a news scroll. Just chill out. A new scroll. And what walks on four legs at dawn, two legs at day, and three at night? A human. That's an old classic. Okay, how many eggs could a female cockatrice lay given a four-month gestation period? It's 2734. I just watched Trevor X play this battle. It's 2734. <laughs> Spoiler free! How many points on a pyramid? Five. An old man sits down by a pond watching fish shimmer in the sun. His wife is sighted from dawn until dusk. She's a wraith. <laughs> User, this is your last warning. Further rules infringements will result in a ban. <laughs> a wizard's beard. Bandito 7 has been banned from chat. <laughs> Free Bandito. <laughs> the satire of Twitch chat is pretty great. <laughs> and now for our sponsored question. Which drink provides the most refreshment for gamers? Popper's Root Beer. 
Immersion equals destroyed. <laughs> what has a face but no eyes and arms but no hands? Oh, well, clock definitely has hands. Maybe. <laughs> Let's try a wizard's clock. Nope. Uh, what has a bed but cannot sleep, runs but cannot walk? A river. Hmm. My final question to you, what's my middle name? Bandito8FU Mods. I made a new account. Her name is Trish. <laughs> Fuck you, Mods. <laughs> That's all I've got. I've questioned you now with wit and guile, and because you have prevailed, I must sit from this vial. Green orb of power. Oh, you got the orb. Can I see it? It's all right. I'll just wait here. It's fine. I think I'm done adventuring. I think I'll just wait here forever. <laughs> hey, uh, I've got an eye for knickknacks. Those glasses you've got are nice, but they're broken. Mind if I fix them for you? Sure, what do I care? You gave away some glasses. I'll get him fixed up. Very high quality. Hmm. Hmm. The green orb of power. Excellent. Our hope was a dying fire, but you are rekindling it. With two orbs, Valamir must be fearful. You are the foretold heroine. Our hopes burn brightly. Ahoy, I am Captain Barnet. The eastern winds brought word of your victory over the Sphinx. Huh, you're looking more blue than usual. Just a spot of the seasickness. That seems. My ship is docked here. The final orb of power was swallowed by a great kraken. We must venture out to sea in search of the beast. Follow me. See what's in the store. Yes. You bought a smithed key. You bought a popper's root beer. Mm. A delicious beverage that restores a hundred health and a hundred mana. Tastes amazing. A small key for a house. Fail. Well, that's weird. I can't do anything with him.
All aboard. Oh my. Soggy Sahagin, 220. Onk Storm, unleash a barrage of real onks to deal 50 damage to all enemies. Hagen spawn. <laughs> God, the fake Twitch chat just cracks me up. <laughs> I think we're close to finding the Kraken. I left a map in the cabin. Would you kindly take a look at it for me? I think we're close. Soggy Sahagin and its soggy brood. Captain Barney? Ahoy, I am C Captain Barney. The eastern winds brought word of your victory over the Sphinx. Is he broken? Finding him here is definitely not scripted. So who's that blue guy pretending to be him? Ahoy, I am Captain Bar- Let's get back out there. Ahoy, I am Captain Barney. Mm -hmm. Huh. Ahoy, I am Captain Barney. The Eastern Winds. <laughs> the Eastern Winds brought. <laughs> Are you serious, Chandrell? You didn't recognize me? This turn-based combat has made you soft. I liked you better as a fighter. But orders are orders. You'll either stay as the heroine of time for all future sequels, or I'll sink you myself. Ha! Ah! An enemy. Enemy index not found. Approaches Irving. So you show up and beat me while everyone is watching? That's an even better way to sabotage this game. Ahaha, <laughs> who's watching? I steered this vessel into thick fog for more than just dramatic effect. They can't see us? I'm not only going to beat you, you'll be thrown overboard and replaced with someone more compliant. Don't get too ahead of yourself. Chandrell, I remember in Combat Arena, the best matches were the ones where you ran out of mana. Seeing you bring out those fists got me hyped. Show me your fight stance, now. Well, that makes things difficult.
Do you need some help? Here, let me show you. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? I must have done a good job training you. You haven't forgotten a thing. Healing or damage? What was that? The fog is clearing. That is a major buzz kill. I can't be seen here, so farewell, Chandrel. <laughs> Say hi to Valamir for me. <laughs> you found the blue orb of power! What's this thing? Did you steer this ship out of the fog and into that? Don't look a gift cracking in the mouth, right? Why did you... You've gotten yourselves into a bit of trouble. If you ever need help again, there is a place I know of. The Six Pint Inn. You might find me there. Three orbs, count them. The prophecy is coming to be. Meet me at the Sacred Temple, west north of town. Valamir is about to be sealed away once again. Meet me there, at the Sacred Temple. Together we shall break our shackles. Just down the west path and then north. I am old, so you may need to wait for me once you're there. Just down the west path and then north. Make haste! Just down the west path and then north. Make haste. This is the only thing we haven't done anything with. Guess it doesn't matter. Damn, you, you're you full up. Okay, no problem. Hey, Apathem, how are you? It's good to see you. You have done well to make it this far, heroine. Now place the orbs of power upon this shrine. Let us seal away Valamir for another thousand years. Let's get this party started. You didn't wait for me? Who is this? Heh, <laughs> thanks again, Chandrel. Just get it over with. Sure thing, girl. Mmm, delicious. Now, let's have some fun. Forsaken we are. What have you done? Forsaken, forsaken. Forsaken, forsaken. Is it broken? Make it stop! The Dark Lord wins in the end? Is that seriously the kind of cathartic closure that Lionel still thinks we want? Nice ending, lol, try harder next time. Okay, the game was mediocre, but the protagonist says moody yuck. Really strange writing, like... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> A boatload of negative Steam reviews. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Admin T. Irving, GameWorks. Bureau of Player Characters, Office of Player Character Correction. Secrets of Legendaria is cancelled. Congratulations. That's a lot of NPCs out of work, a lot of slimes to deal with. Are you satisfied? Reasonably, yes. Lazarus? I... I'm not sure. Oh yeah? Well, you're reassigned to Vicious Galaxy. Let that sink in. That's... I've heard bad things about... You were merely an accomplice. The Bureau is going easy on you. So get out of here. You've got some aliens to kill. I... Chandrel, I regret this. As for you, you're out. No more reassignments. Fine with me. I'm done being someone's pawn. I'll take the void. 
You know, we used to think that was punishment enough. But after your pal Bryce, and now you, we have decided to revise that theory. Gotta disincentivize others, of course, so they asked me to get creative with you. Wh what Valamir! Hey, girl. <laughs> Been a while since I've seen you decompressed. What is this? We could hardly find another game for a niche character like Valamir, so we thought he could tag along with you in your skull. <laughs> We're going to be <laughs> roommates. No, no, no. Yes. Hey, St. Louis. It's, uh, it's by the same guy who made Pony Island. Achievement unlocked. Lousy tenant. Completed Chandrell's memory. Oh. We got Valamir out. Heh. <laughs> that was trippy. Wait, where am I? What's going on here, huh? Welcome to your new home. It's at least more spacious than your last one. Oh, come on, girl. You can't say you didn't enjoy the company. I very much can now, you disgusting, ineffectual cloud of bad breath. You watch your mouth, you... Wow, I could really go for another piece of that pie. Okay. Where am I? The exact whereabouts would be meaningless to you. How's the air in there? Why, you just wait till I get out of here. You're going to have to hold in those farts. Alright. Need to be on the lookout for coins, too. Because we've got one more soda machine to open. Here in the inn. Yeah, it's very meta. We've gone through, like, three different game genres so far. The overarching plot is... That shadow definitely has something to do with something. It keeps showing up. And there's a lot of commentary about game development with, like, those negative Steam reviews that keep popping up throughout the different, uh, throughout the different genres. Like, it's interesting. I'm very interested to see where it's going. <laughs> er, that glowing radiation on your head? The headlamp? Yeah. What about it? Could I borrow it? Sure, whatever. Just stay away from me. I had almost forgotten that someone was planning a murder until I saw you again. I, er... You do realize that I'm familiar with most of the other patrons. The only ones I don't know are you and the guy incapable of speech. Er, I... You've got a knife. He's got some poorly textured gloves. Take your bets, folks. Er... I... How are things up here? Lots of suspicion. Not much in the way of developments. Where did you go off to? You were down there for quite some time. I had an issue to deal with. <laughs> you escaped your punishment for our little misadventure. I just escaped mine. Hmm. If only it were that easy. Hmm. Kid, I... You look different. Did you put on makeup or something? Forget it. Seriously, what changed? I put on some makeup. Gee, sorry for asking. What now? No textures except your arms and legs. Lionel sure has gotten sloppy. Oh, I get it. You're from a first-person perspective game. No need for a face. Hey, barkeep. What would it cost to have Bryce whip up another pie? Pie? My goodness. I'm sorry, did I say something? I had nearly forgotten a guest. The fellow in the hood? What was his name again? I believe it was Dust. That's right. Dust. So then you were a swordsman? But then? Certain events. Chandrell can tell it better than me. But then my space marine career started. How long did you serve as a, er, space marine? Too long. But you found yourself here in the end. The end. That sounds about right. How's your gun arm? Look, swapping stories has been great, but I'd like to just sit here alone for a while. Hey, er, kid? What's up, creep? When you were in your platformer, did they make you shoot the Grundas? Shoot them? I just jumped on their heads, punched them a bit in Radical Road. You'd have to be pretty sick to shoot them. Er, oh. 
Mayor, just keep a distance, man. This murder isn't a mystery to me. Scram. Step off. Ah, Dust. I have good... er, name's Rust. Of course. I have good news. The hologram concierge system is back online. I can finally guide you to your room as I always intended. I... a room? Of course, of course. Just follow the hollow concierge. Hi, what's it? It's my favorite contraption. Showing guests to their rooms is difficult for me, so I installed the hollow concierge. Now my guests have six-star service and I can stay at the bar. What do I... just do as it says. I didn't install the thing for nothing. Let the holograms guide you. You look lost, pal. Silent type, huh? Look, I can just leave you be. Is that what you want? All right. All right. What's your take on this murder? I'd say there's only one of us with a knife strapped to his chest. This is a skin and knife for rad rats and whatnot. Not too sharp on the tip. Wouldn't work too well for stabbing. I'm sure you'd find a way. I ain't planning on a murder, promise. And why should I trust you? No convincing you, huh? Just keep that knife away from me. There's no rad rats in here. Move along. Okay, well, it's spawning new coins, so I'd better look around some more. Including under things. Ah. Okay, hold on. I'm not going that way yet. I want to check out the basement first. Gonna need nine more. Don't reckon I could fit in there. Someone smaller, mayhap. I met one of your minions back in the wasteland. Huh? They said, er, this might happen. Gave me a hammer. S seriously? Dude, where's it at? I, er, don't remember what I did with it. What? I don't have it anymore. Sorry, I'll, I'm not well. I might have dropped it somewhere. What a tease. Er, looks like something out of Waste World. Well, I think we should go to the area we unlocked in the kitchen before we go do the obvious thing and go upstairs. Ooh. 
keys abound. Closet, cellar, hollow system, attic lift, main lift. Today's special key lime, lemon meringue, hot apple, open armory. I got coins too. I can't pick anything up though. Guess this is all for someone else. Huh. So we got the soundboard. Lock door number one. So have we turned the lights on in the cellar now so we don't need the headlamp? That does not appear to be the case. Seven more coins. Somewhere in the world. We presume. Dust Bowl Danny. Didn't reckon I'd see you here. Must need to do something in the control room. Turn off the guest rooms. Let's try that. See if that does the trick.
Could also be that I actually need to turn off the hollow system. We'll see that, too. That's also definitely a possibility. Yeah, that's it. We need to turn off the hologram system. My mistake. Shouldn't be too hard, though. There we go. That should do the trick. Maybe? I thought I turned it off. This makes me wonder why it's still on, but... I've got one other idea now. Confused though. I mean, this oops, this doesn't exactly look like a hammer, does it? But I find it impossible to believe that there's nothing relevant in the control room. Maybe we can smash Valamir's tube with this. If not, I'm going to mess around some more in the control room, see if I can figure it out. <coughs> nope. That's not it. Oops. Shouldn't have done that. Let's turn everything on again. There we go. Yeah, it's got to be something in the control room. What do we do here? Weaken boards, shatter ceiling, drop teleporter, rocky hollow, 
open armory. Three six six three. Turn everything off. So, I don't know, see if that friggin' does anything. I can't do anything in the armory either. Just open it. If you guys have any ideas, shout them out, because this is growing esoteric. The light in the kitchen is still very much on. That's because it runs on its own little generator. That sort of makes sense. Okay, the lights are off. Doesn't seem to have done anything, though. Wait! Suddenly I think I might know it. I gotta block both holograms, right? <laughs> that was pretty clever, machine gunner. Good job. No, I think I need to, uh... I think I figured it out. I think I need to... Here, let's turn everything back on. So I'm pretty sure all I need to do is block both of those holograms at the same time. I think I just need to stack objects in front of one and then use my cursor on the other. Yep, see, the pot blocked one, then I can block the other with my hand. There we go. So we wind up with something similar here. Need to do some good old-fashioned object stacking. I just need to grab some more stuff. Block those hollow locks. There we go. I got it. I figured it out. It took me way longer than it should have. <laughs> it's alright, though.
It's really not letting me stack those. I wonder if I can stack liquor on liquor. Let's try that. No. I can't. Okay, so some things are stackable, and some things aren't. we go. Oh, wait, what? Which one isn't blocked? This one? There we go. Fucking finally. Oh, her. Okay, hold on. Let's go this way first. Interesting. And there's a lift up to the attic. Right, well, let's talk to the cat lady first and get those extra coins. Survivor, I see you made it to the Six Pint Inn. I, uh, are you sure you're not seeing things? Hmm. What's under your hood, Survivor? Go check out the attic. No, oh, damn it. <laughs> I accidentally hit S. Uh, now we have to wait again. from Pony Island. It's good to see you again, Rust. We've got some catching up to do. Well, Alright, now we're going to do Rust's 
Ghost Memory. Hooray. Waste World. Unfinished Business. Come on, friend. Let us buy and we can avoid a conflict. Why do you want to get by? Nothing out this way but rad rats and sand. If there's nothing but rats and sand, why not let us buy? You know, don't you? Know what, friend? You know, you know. The cash. This ain't gonna end nicely, is it? Not if you still want to get by, friend. Survivor turn. Here we go. Gotta keep these creeps away from Pops. There we go. I hate to see Rocky get beat up, but he's resilient. Me, I've got to keep my distance. Line them up, knock them down. Raider turn. Go for the scrawny one. He's got softer bones. Survivor turn. It's like old school Fallout. <laughs> That last raider sure had a lot of blood in him. You alright, Rocky? Yeah, that was weird, though. What did they mean about a cache? Come along now. I'll show ya. Uh, is it password? No. One, two, three, four, five, six? Wrong. Try cash. Is it? No. There's only so many words. Start from the top and go alphabetically. Aardvark? No. It's real. I didn't want to raise your hopes, but it's real. What is it, Pops? A life. A lifetime of supplies. We'll never go hungry again. What about those raiders? Uh, Craig? What? We've got company. One last fight, Rocky, I promise. New cheat cartridge inserted. Infinite movement. Excessive gore, infinite speed. <laughs> Codemaster. I like it. Excessive gore and infinite movement. Awesome. You can control the camera with the directional keys and scroll to zoom. <laughs> Waste world tips mod. Rad rat.
bind foot. Uh, Pops, what are those? Not sure how they got here, but them are mine. Safe for us, deadly for them. Oh, darn. How interesting. This has been a long time coming. My father whispered the password to me as he died. Wow, we'll say it then. Here we go. Sarsaparilla. That is correct. G what? Waste World. Lionel Snill's early access tactics game, only playable with cheats and mods. Wasteworld, once promising entry into the turn-based tactics genre, seems to have been abandoned. I'm sorry to inform you the resource titled The Cash Level is missing. In fact, your intrepid developer left a lot missing. What's he saying, Pops? What does... This game is incomplete. I've up and traveled every inch of this wasteland. Seems complete to me. In a sense, the game was abandoned, leaked, and now modders have taken over development. M modders they will eventually receive a cease and desist. In the meantime, you will have to survive. Without an update in over a year, there remains only one way to experience what does exist to the game. Mods. <laughs> uh, okay, I like this a lot. Waste world, but incomplete. Huh, things don't seem modded. Come on, Rocky, the day is young and we need to scavenge. <laughs> Woof, it's hot out here. How have you been, Rust? I've been worse. Listen, I heard a rumor through the rad grapevine that there's some sort of modding going on. Everything seems the same to me. Hmm. Well, have you got some scrap for me? Mine layer. Scrap magnet. Woof, a scrap magnet? Cool. All right. Waste World Mod Importer. <laughs> it's a simple stick em up situation. Hand over your scrap and we won't cut you up. Oh yeah, and then you can pass. Pops, there's something strange about how they're speaking. Just hand over your... Aliens! Krypton Fighter. New cheat cartridge inserted. Infinite damage. Oh, I can only have two on. Oh, I want infinite movement and infinite damage. Ah! I don't think that was the last of them. Infinite range.
Are you alright, Rocky? Yeah, I'm okay. Those guys were weird, though. They seemed out of place. Reckon I've never seen folks like them before. But the wasteland is a strange and wondrous place. Keeps you on your toes. I reckon we head back up to that little hooded fella. See if it can tell us something what's going on. Of course, that'll take us through the radioactive city. You sure everything's cool? I don't want a repeat of Secrets of Legendaria. A small pair of glasses that appear to have been broken in the past increase Rust's range by one. Yeah, we better save up for those. Nothing else looks good anyway. Howdy. I'm told you can download a pretty cool mod past this point, but you can't pass without a ticket. No exceptions. Hey Pops, there's someone over there. Yeah, easy now, little rats. Oh, help has arrived? Please direct my course. Wizaro, a seemingly out of place wizard. Weasel Kid 1's Turn Reverse mod. I feel... I didn't want him to run over there. There we go. Many thanks to you, brave survivors. Happy to help, friend. Where are you headed? Oh, I think I'll stay right here for a time, pick over the bodies. Oh yes, as thanks.
I feel like we need to take those glasses along from memory to memory. Fortune smiles on us today, Rocky. Let's sit and let those things sort things out. Dang. <sighs> Chain shot. Don't linger in that gas, Rocky. Reckon it'll melt even a tough guy like you. Damn. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I gotta think about this. I know I need to lay a boatload of mines. Damn it. I 
there's got to be a way to kill all the aliens on the first turn. There's got to be. Friendly shots chained to adjacent enemies. Oh, they have to be adjacent, I see. Okay. There we go. Pops? I think we missed one. What the? Waste mod importer. R Rocky? Endurance? Brutality. Rocky does not tire after moving once. Or, Rocky does not relent after one punch. Welcome to the Boss Rush mod! My head hurts. What's going on, Pops? How did we get here? I'm Dust Bowl Danny. You might remember me from the end of the Dunes area. Uh, Danny? This is confusing, but I think we need to kill him. He looks, um, unarmed. <laughs> Hands up! Careful where you step. My gun bots don't move, but they pack a punch.
Switch! Oh no! Pops, we were in the city and then, I know Rocky, I reckon it's them mods that little hooded thing mentioned. Darned if I understood them though. Fight number one, Dust Bowl Danny. Fight number two, the Verm. I've been. Listen, I can't understand why, but I feel compelled to give you a free upgrade. Just take one. You'll need to be geared up for the boss rush. Old ticket. Sure, nice. I'll buy the lucky penny. I guess I'll buy the super scrap magnet, too. Alright. Off we go. Before the next fight, I need to take another restroom break, so excuse me. Alright, fight number two, the firm. It's too quiet. Watch your step, Rocky. Puny mortals, bow down before your lord, the Verm. Where am I, by the way? This doesn't look like the nuclear caverns. It doesn't matter. Breathe deeply. The Verm's Midriff. That totally didn't hurt. I mean, if I'm being honest with myself, it did kind of sting. I'm fine! Phase 2, watch out! Hmm, what else do we have down here? Oh, I remember! Rat or rat.
You are trying my patience, mortals, and you're still not bowing. You wouldn't truly kill your lord, right? You are just playing, right? Stare me in the eyes and betray me, I dare you. Defeated again, another loss for the Verm. Perhaps I am not worth the respect that I demand. Off Weeder says. Hey Pops, are we early birds? Because we just got the verm. That's great, Rocky. A little bit of clowning around might be just what we need right now. Oh, look. Sado from the fighting game. <laughs> Who's that, Pops? I don't recognize her, Rocky.
Sado, an enigmatic figure. Boss turn. Oh, and look, stepping on the mine didn't do anything. Why is she targeting me? Bye, Rocky. R Rocky? Where is he? What have you done? I am preparing you for my own little mod. Hardcore mode. Hee <laughs> hee. My head hurts so much. Rocky, when you're ready to start, pull the trigger. Mod importer. <laughs> well, well, well. Look who's back again. I am. Still looking to find that cash, aren't you? Sink it in nicely, is it? Not if you still want to get by. We can take them, Rocky. Sure thing, Pops. No cheats in hardcore mode. Uh-oh. Oh, my lucky penny! I had it! He's back!
Sarsaparilla. But an unfinished version of Waste World, Waste World Modders received legal notices from Snill and Company. Red Lionel Snill's legal team has stepped in to issue cease and desist letters to the known modders. The mods are getting shut down. What's he saying, Pops? For the love of me, Rust, what happened to you? Where's Rocky? Where's my son? You don't have a son, Rust. You never had a father, either. You were created, given life by a developer, and the game works. Most player characters know that. Where's Rocky? Come on, Rust. There's a room for you at the six pint. Damn it, Rust. Where's Rocky? Probably dead. Enjoy the mods, Rust. They're about to get weird. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Super Weasel Kid mod. Here you can jump, shoot, and maybe even die among the spikes. We're all so excited that you're here. Where's Rocky? Good luck, pal. Root beer. Ah! Look at that! Heck. Whoa, whoa, man, chill. I'm not ready to die just yet. Hey, those glasses you're wearing, where did you get those? I, er, bought them. Figures, I sold them off. I regret it now, but at the time I just wanted to forget. They belonged to a friend of mine. To be honest, he was much more than a friend. He was a partner. A lover. Worst part is people think I killed him. Truth is, he just got old. So I just try to sleep as much as possible. Because sometimes he's in my dreams. Mind if I have those glasses back? Thanks, man. I think I'm going to go do something positive. You know, maybe turn my life around. Good luck out there. These mods are crazy. Achievement unlocked. Shrewd Awakening. Discovered the truth about Mr. Shrewd. Mm Are you alright, Pops? Rocky! 
I thought I had lost you. You didn't lose me, Pops. What what happened then? Um, I dunno exactly. That alien dropped that creepy machine on your head, I dropped the alien, and then I dragged you over here to pull it out. My head feels like the inside of an acid slug, but I'm just happy you're alive, Rocky. I love you. Aww. Ain't that cute. You're too easy to fool, Rust. R Not much of a mind left up there, huh? When you're ready, just pull the trigger. What? I said, when you're ready, just pull the trigger. Final turn. This is really getting weird. That looks like the Legendaria Temple. From Chandrell's memory. What the hell? Okay, hold on. We unlocked a new achievement. That's good. Sorry about that. I don't know what the hell that was. I'm so glad you could make it here, Rust. Now that you recognize me, I see no need for this stuffy garb. You're with us now, Rust. I... You could never have helped Rocky. Lionel decided his fate. But now I am offering you a chance to honor his memory by helping someone else. Help who? His name is... Don't say my name. Stick to the script. Of course, I didn't mean to... Hold on. What's that? There's someone at the front door? <laughs> Lazarus. Just a second. Oh, okay, thank you. Yes, you. Alright. Tiffany was kind enough to make me a little lunch here. So... Let me take just a brief pause to eat and chat. Mm. <laughs> it's a little hot to eat right this second, but that was very sweet of her. <clears throat> All right. Well, we we got Lazarus now, but let's uh Oh yeah, and we unlocked Rocky Road, completed Rust's memory. Lazarus's memory is going to be called Pyrrhic Victory. All right. Quick lunch break. How's everybody doing? Catch up on chat while we eat right quick. Two memories left. Hmm. Oh, that's quite good. It's a little ham and cheese on a very thin English muffin with some mustard. Hmm. Hmm. 
just eating it quickly so we can get back to the game. It's very good, though. Thank you, Tiff. Ooh. Oh, trust me, the quality here is much better than a McDonald's hamburger. Better ingredients, fresher. Mm. Also quite true, St. Louis. All righty. Hmm. All righty. Back to it. That was a lovely surprise. Thank you, Tiffany. All right. Lazarus. Jay? He was a good man. Maybe the best of us. I don't have much time to talk, kid, but he said they wouldn't trace this back to me. Don't worry about it, kid. They never saw you. I'm the one they're after. Just, can you get them to stop knocking, then? It's getting really annoying. I'm guessing you don't have much to say. Big surprise. Why do I bother? You need to hide, Lazarus. You don't suppose it's... It is. Go to the kitchen. Why the kitchen? Just do it. Is there something you're not telling me? Get in the damn kitchen before that door gets kicked in. What do... Kitchen! Get in. Kitchen. Kitchen. I'm not sure how this is going to play out. Do you know what this is about? I think so. If this goes south, being your swordsman wasn't all that bad. That's kind to say. If you get the chance, try to stop him. Stop who? Is it? Yes, most likely. Hang tight. You're not the one in danger. Just stay here. I've got a feeling you know who's at the door. Or I don't know anyone. All right, tough guy. I'm just saying, if some fighting needs to be done, haven't I told you? I'm a cook. Just keep those fists loose. Still can't seem to do anything with this one. I want to go downstairs first. Not sure how many coins I've picked up. I think I've picked up four. Which would suggest I need three more. Kitchen's the last place we're going, obviously. Oh, we can't go downstairs. Or upstairs. Power to the elevator has been shut down. Interesting. No, Steven, that's not sugar. It's, uh... Like I said, it was... That doesn't work either. Oh, that does work. Awesome. And follow Rust up to the attic. Well... Except I'm guessing the elevator won't work. Yep. Let's try the other rooms. 
see if perhaps he has any new observations. Doubting it, but you never know. Maybe someone smaller could fit. Hmm. That appears to be it, so let's go to the kitchen. As instructed. Inaudible, inaudible, inaudible. Apparently there's someone in the control room. Or perhaps the armory. Hard to know. Oh look, you can, now we, we can see rust up in the attic on that monitor. Interesting. I suppose it's come to this. No more hiding. Oh, there we go. That's something. I think I'll check the kitchen next. I wouldn't. Oh, look at this. Today's special is hot pie. Is that what you do now, Bryce? Hot pie? Now, why would a space marine be in the kitchen? If there were, I bet it would be a good time to come out guns blazing. Excuse me? I meant, if a space marine had a gun, he might want to come out of the kitchen. Speak of the devil, and we have been speaking a lot. What have you got there? A gun? I thought you were a sworn knight. Oh, that's right. Your pal Chandrel put an end to that. Shoot him, Lazarus. Ha! You should think that one through first, Space Marine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Vicious Galaxy was a light punishment compared to the one you'd get for harming me. They will tear you apart, bite by bite. Man, you'll wish you were still in Vicious Galaxy. So what's it gonna be, pal? Vicious Galaxy 2, or something like it. Alright, Steven. Take care. Judging by the turbulence, I'd say we're almost there. Everyone is completely clear on the plan, right? Our goal, the artifact. We do our parts to get in, we navigate to the objective, we get out. You remember the layouts, right, Moji? You know that he, uh, prefers Junior. Moji was my father's name, he was weak. Right, Junior. <clears throat> and yes, I remember exactly. And Jay, that security complex. Yes, yes, hack the security to get through the main gate. Lazarus, you're our switch hitter. You will... Yeah, I know. Stay flexible and assist where needed. Just checking. Well, I'd ask if you're all certain about this. But the time to turn back is long past. We're landing. Almost like they were expecting us. What if they were? I hope you're not having doubts, Jay. Kill the armed ones quickly, they're dangerous.
Switch ammo. I think their numbers are thinning. What's that on the horizon? Shooting Lazarus. More coming. We're clear to move out. Everyone move to your station. I'll be waiting at the main gate and keeping an eye on the ship. Junior's clearing the barracks to prevent a flank and Jay's downing the security. Some help would be great. Sure, but there's more action where I'm going. Shotgun, you'll need it. Thanks. You take point, I'll watch your six. Jeremiah overdid it a bit. I mean, focus on the mission, Lazarus. Get back down here.
all the beds. We don't want any running up behind us. Junior, I think they're surrendering. What? Slaughter them. They made it easy for you. For mere sake, give me some space. Wipe them out. Pussy. Now let's get out of here. Okay, now I can't shoot him. Objective accomplished. Too easy. I, uh, I could use some help over here. Ooh, you'd better go assist him, Lazarus. Other side of the courtyard. Ah, I thought my arms would give out. I can't quite carry the payload and shoot at the same time. Prior, left that door locked. It's got remote locks I think you can shoot. <clears throat> you remember how to use that sniper rifle, right? Hold the trigger down, line up your target, release. It's not like your other weapons, you gotta hold the trigger down to aim.
Security center is clear. Here we go. Just have to hit that button. The security just shut down out here. I take it that was you? That's right. We'll rendezvous inside the complex. Come on, Lazarus, pick up your feet. This game's actually kind of fun. This mini game, I mean. So far, so good. As long as our man on the inside does his job, we might just get away with this. What are we waiting for? Let's go. I, uh, I'm not sure I can do it. What? Lazarus uh, did all the shooting in the security compound. I just hid. I'm not sure that's how. Entire... You know what this means, right? What we agreed to? Oh, Mir, I should have stayed as a janitor. It was safe. It was. <clears throat> well, damn, there we go. No time for cowards, right, boss? Unfortunately, it had to be done. Goodbye, Jay. The artifact awaits. Let's go. Damn. That was harsh. <clears throat> I beseech you, please stop here. We're all game characters, aren't we? We don't want to harm you, but we will if we must. Just put those weapons on the ground and walk out. Whatever it is that you're here for, you... Enough. Fast pace. Move. Go north up ahead. again. Damn it, we're off course now. Let's press forward and hope our inside man does his part. right there, criminal scum. The damage you've caused, so many good NPCs lost. What for? Revenge? I thought you above that, Jeremiah. Hold. Say nothing. Oh, wow. You actually tricked a player into helping you. With this cheap facade? Game works. You mean to tell me you had no idea what was going on? 
I'm talking to you. This isn't vicious galaxy, you moron. These brigands have fooled you into striking the game works. The very facility that produces the games that you so cherish. Boy, you've sure helped them kill a lot of game characters. 87 Grundas, 102 Mogleys, a handful of Steam bots, all just doing their job. And for what? You'll have to ask them. Well, I'm committed now. Kid, is that you? Inaudible and all. Now? Kid? You're breaking up. Did you find the right column? What? Who are you talking to? Deep below the game works a few moments earlier. <laughs> Hello? Do you copy? I got down to the sewer, and I've got the bomb. Damn it, they said this damn radio would work down here. Oh, this is getting weird. Ah, <laughs> he can still jump. Damn, I guess the guys did their job. Oh. Ah! He still has his old controls, even, with the double and triple jump. Right, they told me to blow column A. Double A? Two A's? This can't be right, can it? Definitely not what they wanted. A1, huh? And that seems to be all there is down here. No column A is instructed. Gotta be kidding me. I'm gonna guess it's double A then. Oh man, I'm not sure about this. Should I plant it? Well, I'm committed now. Is that you? You hear me now? God damn it, was it double A? I gotta get the hell out of here. I really like that little moment where he looked up at me. <laughs> Jeremiah, do you copy? Gah, I'm alright. I managed to grab a ledge on the second floor. Where are you? I fell all the way down to the R&D department. Junior is dead. Gah. Hmm. Make your way to the elevator north of where we fell. I'll meet you at the top. Game works. Huh. I thought that was a wall. How interesting. Department for Continued Research and Development, GameWorks. Oh. There we go. Compressing. Huh! Decompressing. Okay, so this is Legendaria. We can compress and decompress again, it looks like. 
I'm not sure why we would. Well... Pair of hideous slimes. This brings back memories. Ha! There we go. Reload. Spray and pray. Nice. Ha! Huh. Hey, I remember you. You look sort of happy. That's because I am. I realized that high-speed biker life wasn't for me. I'm much happier just relaxing here and keeping an eye on the elevator up north. It's powered down now, but I heard you can get it going if you shoot all three orbs. Thanks. Yeah, I sometimes wonder, was it really even me back in that RPG? Sometimes it felt like my actions were like I was just playing out a script. I didn't actually ride the bike much. I'd always crash it in those exact two spots, before the bridge and by that palm tree. It's eerie in hindsight, but I didn't think about it then. Do you think we have free will? Best of luck. I love this kind of stuff. Okay, looks like we need to decompress. Go through the one that's unlocked first. Well, that's it. Okay. Well, what then? Oh, I think I can go through here if I'm compressed. There we go. Yes, there we go. Excuse me, er, would you mind if I passed? You think I don't remember you, huh? Well, I do, and you were... Incredibly decent. Those onks you gave me near the end were so real. Anything I can do to help? Go on through, I won't stand in your way. One. Oh, let me can just go straight through that one too. How interesting. Say maybe it doesn't shoot us if we're compressed. Okay, I can't destroy it, doesn't matter. Ah! <laughs> the cobalt got decompressed. That's pretty funny. Holy is its blue glow, child of mere shiny apostle. Hail its twinkles, let the light cleanse you.
<laughs> Clever. I like it. Well, what then? What for this one? Oh, I can move it. Neat. one do I want? Let's go to the bottom first. Handle that slime. Let's see what that's about. Oh? Did you think I would charge at you? Foaming at the mouth? Seriously. Thoughts become actions, man. I'm just trying to enjoy my vacation. This isn't even the right way. Just let me relax. Bye! One hopes we're getting toward the end of this segment. And then we'll have the, uh, the first person memories. But obviously that's the last one. That's going to be interesting. I'm sure. Shove this one down in order to talk to the dude. Let's do that. Hey, Captain Barney. How have you been? The eastern winds. The Sphinx brought word. You're still not, right? I've never been the same. Allow me to rest. So you're not fully gone, the Great Kraken. The Great Kraken. the other way. Then I can push this up, decompress on the boat, 
I should be able to cross the boat onto that other one. Like so. Excellent. All right, that should power on the elevator. Hooray. Do you copy? I powered the elevator doors, waiting there now. I'm still alive. The carriage was on my floor, but I'm sending it down. I left a weapon or two in there for you. Excellent. Two more freaking emails. Just leave me alone. It's Sunday. We're all working tomorrow, just let us be. Working tomorrow on what is ostensibly a national holiday, I should add. We're all working. So why can't you just leave us the hell alone for the course of a weekend? Alright. <clears throat> Ooh. Hello. I made it into the elevator. I'm feeling quite nauseous. Stay alert, I'm up on the second floor. If you make it up here in one piece, we may still have a shot at completing the mission. Hey, come out with your hands up, or my Grundas will tear you to shreds. No one is surrendering. Oh, neat. Surround the elevator. Move into position. Found you! Defense forces, ready yourselves. Protect the game works. Get at that sideways shot. Almost there. I can see that. I've got the corridor cleared on this floor, but we'll have to move quickly. of non-player characters. Lazarus, it's good to see you. Wow, you were busy up here. Let's hope my work is done for the time being. Time to move. Wow. Wait a minute. Why are we on this floor? You said the artifact was on the ground floor. I thought you'd never ask. The ground floor is flooded with hostiles. They've had time to reinforce their security detail. So we're making a detour. So, do you have a plan to get past this door? That's what this is for. For mere sake. NPC Detention Center. Danny, status online. Danny, defense system online. Get past the lasers and shut down the security. I'm going to cover our backs.
I trust you, Jeremiah, but what exactly are we breaking into here? The holding cells for detained NPCs. Clever. Ah, that was the problem. I was getting shot. I see. Is it a specific NPC that we are here for? Yes, a particularly dangerous one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a little fed up with this, but... Let's... Oh, come on. Danny offline. There we go. They need another hand coming right up. What should I expect in there? A few familiar faces, but don't get distracted. We are not here to talk to anyone. Head straight down to the maximum security cell and bust the locks. You know, you? It's you again? They locked me in the... Alligator. The Verm. The Dragon. The training dummy. Awesome. Uh oh. Sado. Uh oh. Warning, stay behind yellow line. Whoa, what was that on the bottom? That didn't look right. That last mission, so much blood. Can, can you believe how much that Gargaloth bled? It's dried in the cracks of my armor, I can smell it. I'm not sure how much longer I can do this. What if I told you I knew someone who could help us? Someone I met during my RPG days. Help us how? I'm not sure, but I was told to find the Six Pint Inn.
Are you here to meet him, too? You must be the Space Marine. You're not as tough-looking as I imagined, you. Quiet. Someone is approaching. I'm glad you could both make it. You're here because you have certain misgivings about the way you've been handled. I'm here to offer you both a solution. What is our role in this? We'll be undertaking a deadly operation to steal a most important artifact. What's it do? With your help, it can open a portal. A portal to... Lazarus, did you make it? Wh what? You went silent for a while. I, I think I found the artifact. What are you waiting for, then? Take it! Oh. Heya! Is this what you're after? The artifact? Does it matter how I respond? No. But let's make the best of it anyway. You set me free after all, I ought to return the favor. Let's see... She's looking at me, which is unnerving as hell. Hmm. Perfect! I choose this one. It's a Pokeball! I was unnerved by Sato looking at me during that dialogue, I'm not gonna lie. That was genuinely creepy. I still have no idea what's going on. I like it, though. Oops. Not very effective. <laughs> Let's see what else we have. Ah, the frying pan. Why don't you take this one? 100 left. Hmm, exciting. You've been transported to some sort of battleground. Try not to die. Oh shit! It's a fucking battle royale! <laughs> and I have a frying pan! Seriously, a fucking battle royale. Where the hell is everybody? Not many left, Lazarus. You might actually win. Two left. Ooh, the suspense. One left. Winner. Winner, winner. Well, it's not time for dinner just yet. Now, what else we got? Hmm, looks 
tasty. What would happen if I... Hmm, chewy. Oh, damn. This thing is frigging unnerving. Don't make me wait through this whole cutscene every time I lose. Okay, now, let me fix my fucking window again. There we go. Huh. Mission accomplished. You've got it? Let's get out of here. Okay, Sato's still alive, of course. Found an escape pod. Do you know where you're going? I think so. Go south 500 meters, then head east. Hmm, I think I see an emergency exit. Suit yourself. Inaudible. Oh, shit. <laughs> Artifact. Inaudible. Inaudible. Stolen. Inaudible. 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 Okay, uh, thanks for stopping by, St. Louis. Achievement unlocked. Pyrrhic victory. Well, there it is. The murder. You just saw it. Lazarus killed Irving at the bar with an assault rifle. What a neat ending to the story. Are you satisfied? No. I'm glad to hear that. You see, it's very important that you're still invested in this. You've got a key role to play, but before that, I'm sure you're wondering about our sixth guest. Pyrrhic victory. Completed Lazarus's memory. taught me to fight. I suppose I owe him that. I'm not surprised Lazarus is the killer. He certainly has that look about him. Wow. So is this all over then? We can breathe easy? We figured out the murderer. It was the guy who shoots things for a living. It's nearly 6 a.m. I don't even have a room here. Good riddance. I'm not the only one happy to see him go. So many game characters were subjected to his will, or at least the will he enforced. Back off, creep. What do you make of all this? 
Of course, he created you without a mouth. But I imagine he didn't spare you from the ability to hear. I want you to enter my personal cabin. It's a quaint little thing, perched a few paces east of the inn. You and our player friend will add a final dimension to this story. You can hear me, right? Head out through the front door and walk over to my cabin. If I can do it with a wheelchair, then surely you can manage. Do not hesitate. He wasn't the first I've killed, and I doubt he'll be the last. Who are you? See if the elevator's working again. It is. <clears throat> but where did I leave the headlamp? I can't do anything down here without it. <laughs> so I guess I'll go to the top level first. Ah, there we go. Ah, a first-person perspective. Greetings. Did you grow weary of being a vessel? You wanted to be the protagonist? A shame. Can't go to the attic. No call button. We can go to the cellar now, which is good. Oh shoot, I lost all my coins. Well, that's annoying. Speak up, guy. 
unless you've got a way to spring me out of here. Useless. Alright, well clearly I fucked up on this first run and we're not gonna get that, uh, that last soda machine open. Pity that. Out we go, I suppose. Oh, the front door is right here. Missed it the whole time. Six pint in. the outhouse first. More coins. That appears to be it. And the cabin. Mm -hmm. 20 soda recipes. The root beverages, a guide, principles of hospitality, forced mnemonics, key to memory, ancient rituals, trust and coercion. Interesting. All right, well, I think I found all the coins. I just, apparently, I needed to use rusts while I was still controlling him. Now, if we go behind the first soda machine, I think we should now be able to mess with that uh, device in there. Oh, I need... Now I need to come back here with one of those batteries, clearly. Okay. Well, I want to at least use the coins I found. Maybe I'll get another shot to use rusts later. I 
think we obviously need to leave that on. Maybe we use this to smash out the gas. Obviously, supposed to do something with this. But what? That is the question. There's got to be something. Something I'm not seeing. really bothered by this. I can't tell what the deal is. Okay. And it's gonna seem so fucking obvious once I do figure it out. I know that. It's just about always the case, but... I need one of those battery packs to power that thing on. Oh, it must be something in the cabin that I missed. Oh, here we go. Ah, there we go. Okay. That was stupid. First 
let's take one back here and see what that little portal is. image of ourselves and then got booted Oh, memory time. Walk. Magnum opus. Oh, boy. A walking simulator. Uh, here we go. First person. Terrific. All right, I need another quick bathroom break. Excuse me a moment. And we're back. Right. This is Lionel Snell. Developer commentary. If you're hearing this, it's because you turned on the developer commentary for my latest game, my magnum opus, really, called Walk. scene you're looking at is a model of my childhood bedroom. This right here is where Super Weasel Kid was conceived. Take it in. That weasel was my favorite pet. I called him, yeah, you guessed it, Weasel Kid. That's Mr. Shrewd. 
the two always made little squeaks and chirps at each other. I like to imagine they were talking. Shrewd would be this wise parental figure giving advice to Weasel Kid. One of my favorite games at that age was Cooking Granny. I thought Chef Bryce was the coolest. <laughs> well, you know how that turned out. My original plan for Walk was to have it be an almost non-interactive experience. Just allow the player to explore and contemplate. I did some market research though, and well, that kind of game was falling out of vogue. Not much money in it. So I jammed in some real gameplay. I thought that since this is about my life as a developer, why not show the player what it's like to make a game? I mean, this is like a way dumbed down version of the stuff I do, but, but to the average gamer it's a challenge. Jump. <laughs> uh, Pony Island. <laughs> I remember when I first got the jumping code right and hooked it up to a keyboard button. Oh, that dopamine rush electrified my childhood brain. GameWorks Assistant. Hey there, I'm the GameWorks Assistant, but you can call me Irving. Looks like you need a little help adding enemies to your game. I've got you covered, pal. Irving came as part of the GameWorks package. I was a little hesitant about using an AI at first, but he became really helpful. the heck oh I have to double click them first gosh that was silly jump it didn't take long to realize how much I depended on Irving he assured me that it was easy for him to come up with enemies and non-player characters for me so I let him do his job The heck? How? 
How do I make it move right? Oh, fuck. Thanks, Iron. That was easy. Irving told me we couldn't get the original Super Weasel Kid for Walk. Something about losing the files. It's kind of a shame, I guess. Thanks, Iron. Good eye. That was it. The success of Super Weasel Kid paralyzed me. I tried starting a few different games, but I kept comparing them to my big hit. What would people think if I put out something that was worse? That I had just gotten lucky the first time? That I'm a one-trick pony? Eventually, I settled on making a sequel. Super Weasel Kid Radical Road. I tried to learn guitar, but I couldn't motivate myself to practice. There was something about the immediacy of game development that I couldn't get out of that thing. Apologies. All right, here we go. Mr. Shrewd was getting older, both in Radical Road and real life. The older I got, though, the less I really cared. I'd been playing a lot of fighting games at that age. Always loved those. I wanted to make one, but I wasn't quite as talented as I would become. So that's why I just had to add combat to Radical Road. beat the shit out of that Grunda, but the critics really came down on me for that part. It left me feeling like 
I had no idea what people wanted. Radical Road was met with mixed reviews, and it made me panic. I resolved to put away Super Weasel Kid forever and try something new. To top it off, my shrew died. Well, he got a new computer, too. <laughs> Mr. Shrewd was long dead at this point. Shrews just don't live that long. Weasel Kid actually escaped, if you can believe it. I took him outside one time, and he slipped out of my hands and ran into my neighbor's rose garden. I searched for hours, but the garden was pretty big, and the thorns were painful. Toggle subtitles. I just noticed that. I'd get emails once in a while, people asking to make deals, wanting to capitalize on my IP. It had been a couple of years now since Radical Road, and one day I just said, fuck it, fine. I sold the franchise to the highest bidder. Transfer of Intellectual Property Agreement. Game Funa Inc. and Lionel Snill. <laughs> this is absolutely like a... I'm not going to read this out loud to you, that'll take forever, but... Consideration for assignments made, he got two and a half million dollars for selling it. State of New York. <laughs> Lunatus CEO Game Funa and Lionel Snill, the artist. When I saw what they did with Super Weasel Kid. I felt a little part of myself die. But I was 18 years old and loaded. It was actually one of the best years of my life. The next scene is based on my foray into larger scale game development. The plan? Make a fighting game. Not everyone remembers, but I started the Combat Arena franchise. Those guys working on it now merely inherited it. Okay, just uh, jump a little bit higher. You're almost there. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't get nearly enough credit for starting one of the most popular fighting game franchises in history. Ah, uh, it's a beauty, isn't it? I put my weasel bucks to use and bought this place with cash. Then I hired a team. Combat Arena X. I hired my childhood friend Carla to work at my new studio. She was halfway through a degree in computer science, but I offered her a huge salary. Hard to say no to that. Lionel's office. I bought the rights for my favorite game character. That is, my favorite character I hadn't made myself. Integrating Bryce into Combat Arena was harder than I thought. I had a lot of help from Irving. Carla's first order of business was to tell me that I had designed too many male characters. I tried to tell her that Steambot Willie was genderless, but she insisted. 
So I created Chandrel while she worked on Sado. Ugh. That eye. Ugh. That's the kind of thing I'm talking about. Ever since Carla created Sado, I get these weird, annoying bugs in my games. And I'm still getting them in Walk. Hmm. Not exactly sure what Carla did while she was creating this you know. She told me some mumbo jumbo about pushing Gameworks to its limits. That character was eerie to say the least. Hmm. I'm vaguely unsettled by Sado, I have to admit. You know, I don't do as many agreement read-throughs as I used to. They're not usually terribly relevant to my uh, hyper-specialized patent-lit practice. I read through a lot more at my old job when I was a little more generalized. That's exactly what it looked like in real life. Solid teak, hand-carved, gold nameplate. I was hiring people who were twice my age. I had to make sure they understood who was in charge. Making Combat Arena gave me my first glimpse into the, well, to be frank, the stupidity and immaturity of gamers. Every damn day we got complaints about how this or that character was overpowered, underpowered, too boring. Ugh, I never wanted to work on a fighting game again. I may be maniacal, but I'm not fighting a guy with no moves assigned. <laughs> this is getting meta as fuck. I love it. I absolutely love it. Steambot Willy is so overpowered. OMFG, if Willy doesn't get a nerf, I'm quitting the beta and never buying the game. Make Steambot Willy less powerful.
still need to make him less powerful. All right. Still not weak enough. I, I guess now I need to lose. I see how it is. My favorite character is Steambot Willy, and you've made him trash. I want to play Willy again. Make Steambot Willy better. I have to admit, though, coating the punches and kicks was everything I had hoped it would be. I'd sit in my office for hours just watching these characters go to town on each other. Sometimes they'd look like they could actually feel it. I keep playing against Steambot Willy and he always wins, like every time. You gave him a block ability? That's OP. Blocking is too good. Replace it. We'll do this expletive thing instead. Hmm. <laughs> He curses. <laughs> Steambot Willy is so boring. Give Willy an ultimate move. Oh, Irving. Interesting. Oh, the eyes. Lovely. Banned. Sorry, pal. Ugh, oh, God, it was such a relief to ship that game. I hated it by the end. But since my fingers had touched it, it turned to gold. I still had my contract with Game Funa, so I sold the franchise for another boatload of cash. Hooray. Now that my studio was bigger, richer, unstoppable, it was time to take on something huge. An epic fantasy adventure that only a studio like mine could accomplish. This is when I made Secrets of Legendaria. Secrets of Legendaria, all right. Like we've been partying. Coming up, Secrets of Legendaria. Stream will begin soon. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> That's the one that had the Twitch chat. Carla and I were no longer friends. Actually, that might be putting it lightly. We hated each other. 
Her ego was just too big to stand in the shadow of my greatness. Well, I think, uh, Nyren, I think that has to do with the, the GameWorks AI, Irving, that, you know, automated so much of his development, but I think we're going to find out soon. There was a heated debate about which character should be the star of Secrets of Legendaria. In the end, Carla won over the studio, so we went with Chandrell. Huh, yeah, who cares what I think, right? <laughs> I put everything into that game. I hired the best programmers, the best designers. I burned through my fortune fast. But this game was going to be epic, goddammit. I paid the biggest gaming streamer to play it live, with hundreds of thousands watching. Uh, hmm. Where's that damn mechanic? Try this. <laughs> yeah, you like that switch mechanic? Pretty cool, huh? Still got it. Woof, not again. I said I was done with this stuff after the last two. Hey, Irving! I don't want to be in this stupid puzzle game! And how are you holding up, Faceless Joe? Dull, I figured. I'm guessing I have to fight that slime. You'll have to solve some brilliant puzzle to open the gate. <laughs> oh, wow. It makes sense that they'd choose me for this game. Chandrel's gone. Also Lazarus. Hmm, Valamir too. All they've got left is the town mechanic. Oof, here we go. A tough slime was there. Haven't been decompressed in a while. Cool. Gonna need some spells, huh? Fire Missile. Deal 50 damage to a single enemy. Costs 15 mana. <laughs> Oof, that's one tough slime. I'm going to need some more mana.
the chain is too short. Is that what it's telling me? I see. Oh, oops. I didn't get to cut it. There we go. Mana wave. The stream had been going all right with the odd hitch or two, but things took a terrible turn for the worst right near the end. <laughs> it was chaos. Everything is going wrong. Whatever that is, I might need it. Oh boy, another one. Hmm. Crit boost. All right, let's eyeball this. Okay, I can hit the yellow one from here. Which means I can hit the green one. That one hit. Can get through the purple one. Which allows me through to the blue one. Which if I remove that. Let's me do that. Supercharge. want to hit all. Now I want to switch back and hit one. Huh? Is that it then? Back to the overworld? I guess not. Secrets of Legendaria bombed. Carla had left bugs in there intentionally to sabotage me. It must have been that because everything went wrong. And everyone saw it live. The game had no hope of recouping costs, so 
I took funds from the severance packages and ran. I couldn't even afford my apartment anymore. I moved south to find some cheaper real estate. Damn. Living in the desert was a miserable experience. I blasted the AC all day, but I was somehow always sweating. I started working on Wasteworld here. It was supposed to be my great comeback. We can't move anymore. I would wake up, sit in front of my computer, and just stare at the screen with my hands beside the keyboard. After about an hour of that, I'd blow off the rest of the day playing some online game. Sure, I'd sometimes accomplish something, but then I'd reward myself with some social media time and would wind up reading articles about myself. They weren't kind to me. Oh, now we can move. I never finished Waste World. I wanted this area of walk to reflect that experience, so I left it half finished. That also saved me some development time. I don't get along that well with other people. Carla wasn't even a close friend, but I think she might have been my only one. Pretty sure half of those levels were unbeatable, but I just didn't care anymore. Sarsaparilla. Oof! The heat of that godforsaken place. Uh, most days it kept me inside. I think I'm just supposed to let him beat me up.
There we go. The more I needed to finish that game, the more I avoided doing it. My parents would call every once in a while to ask how it was going, but I'd just lie. The final straw was those idiotic modders. They took my half-finished game and made a goddamn mockery of it. Aliens in a post-apocalyptic Wild West. It made no sense. If I couldn't finish the game myself, I sure as hell wasn't going to let them do it for me. Fired me up. It was just what I needed to bring those low lives to task. Those gormless basement dwellers were going to pay every temp. He goes on like that for a while. You must be tired of hearing that voice. We're mere pawns to him, but you can change that. Listen to me, this is important. When you see a door of light, walk back to whence you came and look to your right. Now, let's see how far I can skip you forward. <laughs> and that's how I programmed the blood particles. I think it really contributed to the visceral pleasure of Vicious Galaxy 2, making it the obvious standout in the series. My only gripe with the game was the designs of the main characters. They're too old. Everyone wanted the same boring space marines for the vicious galaxy. Alright, when we see a door of light, return to whence we came and look to our right. I got my wish. There was some sort of breach within GameWorks and a lot of data was lost. I had to create a new squad of player characters from scratch after that.
ourselves at the climax of Walk. The player has to use everything they've learned to solve the ultimate puzzle and arm the bomb. Go on, you can do it. This probably looks daunting. Switches, those creepy eye things, and a splitter all in one puzzle. But it's the last one, I promise.
There we go. You know, I had to lower the difficulty of that puzzle like ten times before the average player could solve it. But great job, you figured it out. <laughs> you win. Door of light. And that brings us to the present. Well, I should say, the near future. The other indie games coming out right now are crap. So, Walk is a shoe-in for Game of the Year. This scene is a little glimpse into what's to come. The end. Thanks for playing, I guess. Um, at this point, you just have to walk toward the white door frame and the credits roll. And, hey, I'm glad you turned on the developer commentary. I hope my story was as much an inspiration to you as it is to me. This is Lionel Snill, signing off. Did you get all that? Ignore this, we had already finalized the voiceover so I couldn't cut it. Now we're supposed to walk back to whence we came and look to our right. This is unnerving. Where's that dude? Oh yeah, remember back, way back at the Super Weasel Kid sequence that said this game was built on the ashes of another? Root beer tender. Uh huh. The barkeep. Oh, and then it shows him in the wheelchair. There's Irving. It's closing time, Reginald. Say, that can't be. It's not even dark yet. It's closing time forever. Lionel is releasing Super Weasel Kid. He can't have some root beer game marring his reputation. You must be mistaken. Lionel loves root beer, and he loves me. Lionel wants this. I won't leave. Very well. Lionel wants this.
That was Lionel Snill. You've seen it all now, haven't you? And you understand why we are gathered here. You have an important role to play in this, so I hope you are ready. My loyal patrons, tonight we are all killers. This is now my only way out. I'd like this to be my final KO. As per our agreement, the... This will take me to Rocky, right? For Mr. Shrewd. Go on, it's your turn. The Hex. The hex has been opened. I must thank you for your help. The ritual was incomplete without a player. And I do hope you enjoyed your time here at the Six Pint. Your patronage is valued highly. Now if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to meet my maker. That was trippy, but I really liked it. Six hours, almost on the dot. That article was pretty solid. EA got him. <laughs> well, that was The Hex, uh, Daniel Mullen's follow-up to Pony Island. I liked it a lot. I thought it was really cool. I thought it played with a lot of really cool ideas. It didn't exactly come together for me in the end the way Pony Island did. I think Pony Island was significantly better, but that being said, I certainly enjoyed the six hours I just spent on this, and it was well worth the ten dollars. Which is all you can really ask for, right? Yeah, this one got a little more ambitious, and there's still things that I don't quite understand, like, I loved all the Steam reviews early on, just, I loved the fake Twitch chat in the RPG section, the, uh, I haven't figured out what was going on with Sado, like, I've almost figured out everything else, but... Oh. We've let Sado out into the real world, and the game ends. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I guess that's, uh... Okay, I... <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> that, that last little bit at the end credits were, you know... I mean, apparently, the, the story is that we let all of his creations out into the real world, and, uh... 
that includes the creepy as hell, weirdly powerful Sado. So cool. I really enjoyed that. I the I mean the ver- the very end actually made it come together a little bit better for me. So all right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody who joined me live on Twitch. I really appreciate you uh, hanging out, hanging out, and going through something new with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Uh, if you're new here and you like what you saw, I hope you'll hit the follow button so that you can see every time we go live in the future. Uh, if you're watching this later on on YouTube, I stream it. Actually, I'd say pretty more predictable hours right now. They're not always going to be the same night, but. I go one hour one hour streams two weeknights a week on my main project, which is currently Fallout New Vegas, and I try to fit in one longer weekend stream that's either a standing side project or the occasional one shot like the hex was today. Current side project is Earthbound, which we will not get back to next weekend because the Resident Evil 2 remake drops on Friday. So regardless the point of all that spiel is if you miss any streams, don't worry. Uh, All of my content makes its way over to YouTube. So if you enjoyed what you saw, I hope you'll both like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And finally, uh, regardless of the platform you're on, I hope you'll consider joining the Discord server. The link to do so is either in the Twitch channel description or the YouTube video description. The Discord is where we discuss the games you'd like to see me play, where I make official channel announcements, and where there's a fun, growing community of people who love video games just like you. So that was the Hex. Uh, We'll have our two Fallout streams during the week this week, and I am planning on coming home Friday night, having dinner, and firing up the Resident Evil 2 remake, blind, save for the fact that I played the demo, and getting through as much as I possibly can before I collapse and need to sleep. So that's the plan for the next few streams. I think Monday and Thursday should be solid for the two Fallout episodes, and I hope to see all of you there for all of those. Until then, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have a great night. Thanks once more for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Take care.